In this lesson, we will finish the first section of our heroine. We only have a few tweaks to make. So for one, at the beginning of the animation, we need to have a little bit of movement so the character is not completely still. That's very unnatural. We should have at least some, some movement towards the direction that the character is going to step in. So there's a little bit of anticipation there. So let's go to frame 5. We'll grab all of her controls, deselect her feet, and shift her in that direction slightly in the X over in the Z. So she's leaning in that direction. And that's going to smooth out the beginning of the animation also. Okay, that looks good. Now next, going to the sword, as it starts to swing up, you can see we're getting some very wonky orientation in the character's wrist that will need to be cleaned up, so let's go ahead and take care of that. So in frame 6, we need to loosen up the, the wrist a little bit more. We can go ahead and bring the arm out some. Also on 6, maybe rotate the sword up. Just a little bit more. And it is swinging forward, so let's keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and bring that up forward. I'd like to have it translate up a little bit higher. Just to fix the, the transition between 5 and 8. We should do the same thing for frame 7. Again, looking at the rotation of the wrist, that can definitely be fixed. So again, we're going to go ahead and pull the arm out a little bit more here, and rotate the wrist down slightly, and then kind of bring the arm up some. Then I'll grab the elbow, just kind of translate that up. So we now have a, a better transition to her block. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and focus on her footsteps. So taking a look at this, we're going to want the foot to of course, raise up just slightly. Generally, footsteps are, are small, so we don't want the foot coming up too high. And we'll also want the heel to hit and then have the foot follow after. So it's going to work on the heel first. Grabbing our heel control, we'll go to where we want the foot to plant. That should be on frame 10 because on frame 9, that's where the foot makes contact with the floor. So immediately after that, that's when the foot is going to be fully planted. So on frame 10, let's go ahead and have a keyframe there. We could always use the key on 11. I'll just shift select, move that over. Okay. And then from there, going to frame 8, we'll press shift E to make sure that the heel does not rotate up until the time it needs to, which is on frame 9. So now going to frame 9, we'll just go ahead and rotate the heel up. Taking a look at her front view, we'll also want to rotate it to the side, kind of slant it. Okay, now we'll need to make sure that we lift the foot up. So that can happen on frame 8, again one frame before the foot actually makes contact with our floor. So on frame 8, let's go ahead and translate the foot up here. And we'll also want to kind of rotate it to the side so that we get a smooth blend between frame 8 and where the heel is up on frame 9. Beautiful. Okay, great. So, moving forward, 
Let's take a look at our foot roll on the left side. Doesn't look the best. You can see how it more of matches a toe roll than an actual foot roll. So we'll need to smooth this out a bit more. So taking a look at this, in about frame nine, we can go to our our ball control and rotate that up and also slant it over to the side in the Z axis and down in the Y. Great, so that, that, that feels a lot better. All right, now we know that the toe is interpenetrating through the floor. This is a quick fix. We just need to take the key on frame 13 and move that down one frame to 12. So the key where her foot rises up, let's just have that happen a little bit faster. And now on frame 12, we should not have the toe roll up at all, nor our ball roll. So let's go ahead and, again on 12, go ahead and just zero out the toe and ball controls. Okay, great. Now what we're looking for is a, the transition between our foot roll and the character hopping up. Let's go ahead and grab her foot control and just make sure that this, the, the motion here is uh, very fluid. So if we were to pay attention to our foot roll, we'll see that there's a little bit of a slant, as there should be, but then as we move to about frame 13, the foot kind of flattens out. This is very unnatural, almost as if there's something pressing against the foot here. So to fix this, we could just rotate it back a little bit more on 13. Much better. Great. So let's go ahead and take a look at the animation now. We can hide our controls, hit play. Beautiful. All right. So that should do it for the beginning of the animation. We have the character stepping in, moving over to the side to dodge the attack. If anything, if we wanted to take this further, we can go ahead and fix the orientation of the left foot on frame 11, just rotating that over to the side just a little bit more. Okay, that's better. But I'd say everything else looks really nice. So what that means is we can now move to the counterattack. So we'll start to work on that in the next lesson.